Hey guys, what's up? Last time we were able to create this login form. Now we want to go ahead and add the functionality to login a user. First things first, if we look at our email, notice that our email subject comes in as a set. So we need to first fix this and make it a string. But real quick, if we go to quick, if we go to our view for the registration, let's go to use.py, look for registration. You want to make sure that you don't have this comma at the end. So that would make it a string. So the comma actually turns it into is set moving on open up the login html template and we need to make sure our form has an action and to add that we are going to use the url helper and then we will submit the same page so add login in there make sure your username field has the name username and then the password has the name password so now we are we are ready to actually handle this login request so in the view in the views.py let's import some things you are going to need to use so import actually from django contrib auth import we're going to import authenticate we're going to import login let's also import logout because we are going to need to log out again now once that's done come back to our view for login i'm going to just copy this and replicate it for the post request so this should be post it should be the same i'm going to create a context for the request and it's going to have two things one of them is going to be the data basically we need this to persist the username in the field and this is going to be requested post then we also need to add an has error variable so it's going to start out as false i'm just going to use it in our checks as we go on so let's get the username so the username will be in the request post get post get username just repeat this one for the for the password so this should be password and again okay. now from here we can do simple check so if username equals nothing then we want to add a message. So message is dot add message. Pass a request. Pass the label. So message is dot error. Username is required. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Username is required. Required. Just like that then now since we have an error let's update our context so context has error will now be true from what okay so let's replicate it for the password so copy fix the indent your password here password is required and obviously you can use the HTML validation to handle these simple validations but I just wanted to show you guys how you can do it on your own like validating for validating if you needed to so now once that's done we're going to go ahead and log in a user so let's say user equals authenticate so authenticate basically takes in a request and then the user credentials takes in a user because username and password because password if these pass then it returns who the user is so if we don't have a user so we're going to check so if not user would mean they didn't log in so we want to check if we don't have a user and we didn't have an error that would mean we tried authenticating and not not context has error and fix this so then now we can tell them that oh look here you were unable to log in so password is required now you can do invalid login push this one down so otherwise if we have a user then we can go ahead and log them in so if we have a user then we can log them in and then redirect them so now when we have errors i basically want to still stay on the same page and show the user that those errors so context has error then we want to read to come here okay then now we can go to the same page but now we want to add a status 
to show that authentication failed so i'm going to throw for one in there and uh yeah we need to also pass our context context i'm just going to name it okay pass it in also if we don't have errors now we can log the user in we're going to use a utility for login we imported it up there it takes in a request and a user and then it's going to log the user in into the application it's going to set the cookies quality it's going to set up the session so from here now we can redirect the return redirect i'm going to create a, a route for the home page so i'm going to call it home let's create the route just go to the urls.py copy this i'm just going to leave it empty for now then i'm going to say home view as view then this will be home please take note of this it has to be what we put the other side since we are still here let's go ahead and protect this home page from being accessed by unauthenticated users so we're going to input some helper actually a decorator so from django contrib auth decorators import login required so this decorator here we can wrap it through our url login required wrap it there then we need to close it here so that will protect the home page let's create the home view in the views.py so down let's make it the last one class home view is going to import from view so let's say get request takes in self and request so let's return some template return render request then it's going to be called we're going to call it home dot html okay so let's create this in the u in the so this is not under auth so i'm just going to put it on just in template but you can put it anywhere so dot html i'm basically going to Spit out the user's name, which you can do by using this then user dot username. Okay. So if we can see this, then we will have done everything correctly. Let's go ahead and check our app and see what we have. Okay. So first things first. Notice that when you come to the application, notice that when you come to the application, it is trying to send us to account slash login slash next. And that's because that's the default behavior so this it knows by default this should be the redirect uri for people that are not authenticated now we are going to change that in a bit and to do that just go to your settings.py file so settings okay so it tried to go to the home page but then we are not logged in so it booted us, booted us out but then it's sending us in the wrong place so in the settings.py of the app Let's just add some few constants here. One of them will be the login URL. Login URL. And obviously it is going to be and login. Let's also put the login redirect URL. So this will tell you to go to the login. Then this will redirect to this will be useful when we are redirecting the to the home page login redirect url let's also add the logout url we'll use them later so this should be logout we haven't created it but we will then we also need a logout redirect url so logout redirect url so from logging out we want to go to login so easy so now if you go back to the app let's go to the home page you can see that it just takes us to our login page so interesting so now let's try signing in without putting anything and it's not submitting and that's maybe basically because let's look at our view login.html we don't have a method so add a method and we want it to be handled by the post function we created. Let's go back to the home page, it boots us out, click login, 
we didn't add the cross site request forgery token remember to add that in the form add that cross site request forgery underscore token let's just go back click login we can see that our errors come and if we if we add a user so password we can see that we are redirected to the home page so now the home page is accessible for people who are logged in now this is pretty much done i want to go ahead and create functionality to log out right now because uh, we might not be able to demo other things if we don't log out so i'm going to come here logging out is kind of tricky in a way that we want to make a post request and we can't usually like add an a and then then send a post request from an a we need a form so let's create a form here so form action let's just go ahead and move we'll just create one for logout then an endpoint for logout so then this form will have method post then now in here we can we can create an input type submit let's add a value of logout Okay, so now let's, let's make it a button by adding the bootstrap classes, btn info. Yeah, so I think this is good. Now let's create this URL also. So in the URLs.py, one of them path will be logout, the unique name will be logout, then this we are going to create a logout view. Okay, so let's go and create the view in views.py down here. Class logout view. So we're going to inherit from view. Now we want to handle post request. So post request and or oh, save and request. So now here we need to return. Okay, we need to be able to log out the user. So it's the way we log out is remember how we imported logout here? That's the utility we use to actually log out to logout. So logout takes in a request which we have. And then after we are logged out, we can tell a user that oh you've logged out. So let's do messages. Add message. Oh, this is text in a request. Not a redirect. Then logged out successfully. So this second is the level messages that success logged out successfully then we can redirect to the login page so return redirect to the login page okay so let's test it out i hope i didn't miss anything now if we go back and reload the home page we can see the logout button so it's not picking up the styles, that's because we're not actually inheriting from the base HTML. So do that. We need to extend base HTML. Okay, so this should be in load content. Then we can just tap this one inside. Okay, this not this not load but block. So this should be end block here. End block. So if we would check again, let's reload. You can see the styles are coming in. So if we click logout, we don't have the the token in the form. So this is something we don't don't have to forget at all. So cross site request forgery token. I have it in there so now let's go to the home page click logout and we are logged out if we try going back notice that we can't go back so this is done if we try to put credentials that don't match anything so i'm going to go ahead and stop the video here so if you're new to the channel i want we make a lot of interesting videos on this channel so you may as well consider subscribing such that you can be part of the family so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching